Okay guys, this is Mike from Boyer Bows. I'm going to be doing a quick video here, well, relatively quick video here, on how to put a serving string on your bow string. Um, forgive the Snow White thing, I kind of stripped this down for some good contrast here. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is um, you want to you want to mark the spot when your bow is strung where you want the serving string to start. Now, I've already got the string in there, but what I do is I take these, they're forceps. You can just tie a string, you know, take a little piece of your serving string and tie it around there. But I just make it, you know, even quicker. I just give it a little clip, and then I'm basically in. I take the bow string off, I unwind it just at that spot, stick the serving string through and tie a square knot. And then I twist it back up again and restring the bow. And that's where we are. Now, you're going to need some serving string, obviously, and a stringing, a serving tool. Uh, I got this one from Bass Pro, and it was about 16 bucks. And the nice thing about getting it from Bass Pro is I've, I've actually had a couple of these serving tools, and I've ordered them, and I can't return them when I order them. So some of them, some of them are tough to work with, and some are easier to work with. This one happens to be a pretty good one. <clears throat> Anyway, let's try to make this work here. Alright, so you, you've got the string tied in a square knot. And so then you, uh, wind, you gotta get a nice, uh, see this is too tight. I'm gonna loosen it. A little more. Okay, so it seems to be, for me, I think it's the right uh, tension. I give it a cut. I'm gonna give it a stretch here. Tuck the tail end down. Give it a couple quick wraps. One, two, and then I'm gonna just push it up. Make them even. Three. I'm just gonna do this until the serving tool is flush with the string. Okay. It's now flush with the string. And then you have to hold the string with one hand and just start wrapping it with the other. This is going to take a little time, obviously. Not a quick job. Okay, I'm just letting the tool do the work. You can almost, I've seen videos of people just slinging this around using string tension. But basically, you just wrap it around the string. It'll do the work for you. It'll move down the bow that way for you, um, depending on the tool. So, what you want to do is you want to see, see uh, in this case, with this bow, this is the ultimate snake bow, I made a new string for it, the arrow is going to be shot out of this natural, whoops, this, uh, natural curve. So when you're holding the bow, you want the, your whole, if I'm holding the bow like this, I want the serving string to go down past the point where the string is hitting my arm. So this serving string is going to go down to about here. All right. So let's. Uh, I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit here, so the upload doesn't. Whoops. See, when that happens, that means the uh, tension is a little too loose. So I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit. Push the string back. Oops. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. Push the string back together. Get it going again. Let's see. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, there it is. Now see how it's getting a little space, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little space between them, you just got to push them together, pull down, tighten them up, tighten them up, and then just start over. Try to get a good grip on the string, and just start wrapping. I'm not in the best position to do this, unfortunately. Uh, I got the camera between my arms here, but, alright. Anyway, you just do this for a while <clears throat> until you get to the length that you want. Now, if I could speed this up, what you're going to do at the end of this is sort of a loop wrap. I'll show you that in a second when I get down to where I need to be. If 
it's right in the groove of the string. And I'm sorry, I'm usually a little more smooth with this, but weird body positions can do strange things to you. All right. And this is obviously an option. It protects your bowstring. Your knocks will fit on the string on the when you go to uh, knock your arrow. It'll fit better on the on a serve string than it will on a uh, a bare twist or a bare string. But it isn't, you know, it isn't. Uh, it's it's a it's a luxury. It's not a necessity. I guess some people won't shoot without it, but depending on how survival mode you get and you make your string with paracord out in the field paracord out in the field well then you're not going to have a serving tool with you just make it a, make something that works but if you're going to be shooting a string a lot it's always good to put a serving on it grab here in a second see where we are All right. got about four more inches to go on this I know this is really exciting to watch right now so uh, I apologize that I don't have uh, special effects playing in the background or classical music or something Maybe get something like that happening, I don't know. Alright. Alright, that feels about right. We'll get another inch or two. Probably another inch out of this. Okay, we're there. Alright. So how do you finish this up? Well, what you do, this is where it gets tough. I hope I can do this. You take a nice stretch and you make a loop. Okay, now you want enough of a loop, you have to keep this, this end a little bit tight. It ain't the world's easiest thing to do, frankly. The string's still got some tension in it, so I just keep, alright, make a loop, and put the thing, the serving tool, back on the string, and then reverse it and come through your loop. Okay, that loops, oh boy, let's go down with this a little bit. Use the bed, the side of the bed, my guest bed, or the doghouse bed, depending on how you look at it, depending on what my wife is feeling at the time. Right. Now you just want to make a few loops here. Now I think the rule of thumb is 20 loops. Uh, I'm having a little trouble with this, so I may not make that many, but bring the string back through the loop. Ooh, that got loose. Hold on a second. There we go. Oh, this is really an awkward position for me. Alright, you know, I may... Well, no excuses. Let's just do it. I don't think I'm going to be doing 20 loops here, guys, but you'll get the idea. Make it a, several loops. I would recommend 20. I don't know how many I made here. We'll find out in a second. Then you just stretch the uh, string like that. And watch what happens. You tighten this end up. Keep that end tight. And you start wrapping the loop around. And as you wrap the serving end, this end will unwind. So try to keep the serving nice and even just like that and coming down to the last couple here alright so now we're at the end. What I do is I give it a little push as best I can 
and tighten your serving tool up as tight as it'll go. All right, and then just pull. Let me see the loop disappear. Pull tight. Sorry about the camera there. Give it a little snip. And then use a lighter or something and burst burn that tag end down and off, and you got your serving. And that's basically it. And then when you go to shoot the bow, you've got a serving string that covers enough room for your oops, enough room for your arrow. It goes past your arm to protect the string at all times. And that's it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna watch the video, see how clear that was. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment or send me a message. And I'm Mike from Boyer Bows. I hope this was uh, hope this helped. Bye.